save the Bible has ever been so widely read. Millions have learned to know and love its characters, for more than anything else, Ben-Hur is a story of people. People brought vividly to life in this magnificent motion picture of the story of Judah Ben-Hur, a man who knew the Christ, the prince who became a slave to hold the fate of the world in his chained hands. Of the beautiful Esther, who loved Ben-Hur as few men have ever been loved. Of proud Quintus Arius, a man first, a Roman second. Of Messala, the power mad, once Ben-Hur's boyhood friend, now his deadliest enemy. Of the lusty Sheik Ilderim, who held that one god and fifty wives were enough for any man. Of the gentle Miriam, whose faith was the path Ben-Hur followed. And Tirza, his sister, condemned to a living death because she bore her brother's name. There was Simonides, loyal to one master and one god. And Tiberius, who ruled Rome when Rome ruled the world. There was Balthazar, who found the Christ in a manger. And Pontius Pilate, who crucified him between two thieves. Inspiration of great artists, such as Ben Stahl, whose work we see here. The color, the excitement, the human drama, and the spectacle of Ben-Hur has swept the world. An inspired story even today, as it was 2,000 years ago, following a bright star to a new conception of man's dignity and divine rights. Ben-Hur stuns with the impact of its violence and thundering action. Yet, it can lift your spirits to the skies. But with all its astounding pageantry and spectacle, Ben-Hur is a story of people, their conflicts, and their loves. Yes, Ben-Hur is a tribute to the age of miracles, then and now. And by the magic of the modern cinema, they meet and blend.